But ladies and gentlemen, I know you. You have one of these. Mm -hmm. You have an iPod with up to 80 gigabytes of space. Hold up to 25,000 photos, 20,000 songs, and 100 hours of video. Do you know my laptop I'm using for this right now has only 75 gigabytes? Actually, 74.5 gigabytes of space. So that means you're holding it in your pocket what I can't even have on my laptop. Okay, now maybe you're like me and you have the 2 gig nano. Now, I'm surprised to tell you that the 2 gig nano is not really 2 gigs. It's more like 1.78 gigs. But they call it 2 gigs anyway. I don't know why, but, you know, whatever. And I can store a heck of a lot of stuff. Today I'm going to be showing you, telling you about portable apps. They're little applications, actually not little applications, they're full-blown applications like you're seeing now. This whole web browser is running off of my iPod. You've seen me use it before. The portable apps menu here, I got Mozilla Firefox, Audacity, and, and Nuvu. And I can save stuff to here. But you have to format your drive, your iPod, to to be seen as an external hard drive. So here's what you're gonna have to do first. You're gonna go to the start menu and open iTunes and all programs. But I have a little convenient dock here. And I and this is Star Dock, object dock. Hmm. Or I can go to my all shortcuts folder. And I'm pretty sure the iTunes thing will have to be out here for that thing to work. Okay, let's try that again here. Hmm, didn't work. Okay, well, I'll just do this then. Just use this shortcut. Normally all of my shortcuts work in there, but I guess that one doesn't. I'll have to replace that later. So we want to open iTunes. Alright, iTunes is open. Uh, no, you see, I have great taste of songs. But what you want to do is under the, you have the library tab here, the store tab, devices, playlists. You want to click your heart, your uh, iPod drive there. And as you see here, right here. Okay, so normally this here is unchecked by default. Under the options tab, you'll see open iTunes when the iPod is connected, check. Only sync checked items. Manage music manually and enable disk use. You need to check the enable disk use. And I didn't even know this option was up here. Open I, I don't want that open. I don't. I hate when that happens. You know, it freezes up my computer sometimes when that happens. All right. So enable disk use and click apply. This will apply the changes to your iPod. You can click sync if you want to sync it. If you got some new music in your playlist. I don't same music I have. All right, let's go ahead. Quit out of iTunes. We're done there. So let's go to start. Start my computer. But I have that icon on my desktop already. All right. As you see here, I have my main hard drive, DVD ROM burner drive. And my iPod is showing up as an external. Let's click enter. Here I see my portable apps, some videos, some documents, uh, calendar notes, things to save stuff to put on my iPod. And I got music that I actually put on my iPod that I copied from another computer that I used to use to put on this one. Alright, so now that's formatted, let's go ahead and exit out and let's do the second part of this project. Getting portable apps. Start up your web browser, and I'm already using it, so it, and go to PortableApps.com. It's www.PortableApps.com. Click Enter, and you'll see this wonderful, wonderful page. 